Hi everyone, I'm Mine. you're watching AGC Reviews, and this is another video, part of the bed bug, um, bed bug series videos that I'm going to be doing to educate everybody, and again, I want to give a shout out to NYC Pest Control for sending a rep out, uh, you know, to educate me so that I can educate all of you. Um, the thing is, I wanted to talk about the common misconceptions about bed bugs, and one of the main ones is that because they're called bed bugs, people seem to think that they can only be found in the mattress or on your bed and that is a huge huge misconception fact is they can be found anywhere that people sleep but even more so they can be found almost anywhere um, now the reason why they're mainly found uh, in areas where people sleep which is usually your bed which is why they're called bed bugs it's because when you're sleeping your breathing pattern changes and then while um, you know while you're sleeping you release more carbon dioxide did I get that right? Is it carbon dioxide? Okay, yeah. I wrote it down just to be 100% sure so I don't sound like a complete dummy. Um, so you're re releasing carbon dioxide and they're attracted to that. Now, the thing is that these little critters are parasites. They will suck your blood. When you're sleeping, you don't realize that little pinch or you might realize it and you'll move around or whatever it might be, but they will get to your blood and they will suck the blood out of you. You definitely don't want that. So a huge common misconception is that they're only found in beds. They can be found in your box springs. They can be found behind your headboard. They can even be found under peeling paint. No joke. She told me, the rep, you know, she told me that they can be found if you have, you know, peeling paint in your house, you might actually be able to find them underneath the peeling paint. Um, so that is a huge common misconception. And um, she also told me, she mentioned a customer uh, that said, you know, I'll just sleep in the kitchen for all I care. And the thing is, is that again, they're attracted to the areas where you're falling asleep in. Um, you know, so if you're falling asleep at your desk all day, then they can be attracted to that area as well. Because again, it has to do with the carbon dioxide that you're releasing when you're sleeping. It's your breathing patterns. They're attracted to that because they only feed when you're sleeping. As far as I understand, don't quote me on that specific part um, so you know even if you're sleeping in the kitchen or you can sleep in your bathtub or you can sleep on your ceiling it doesn't matter once you start sleeping there they will find their way to you and yes they can climb walls they don't jump but they do crawl and they can crawl into different areas now another common misconception is that if you're clean you won't get them or if your house is clean you won't get them which is a load of hoo-ha because when it comes down to it all you need to do is sit down somewhere where someone else that did carry out a bed bug with them if they sat down there and that bed bug decided to just kind of you know get off of that person and hang out where you just sat down chances are they are going to crawl onto you and you're gonna bring them right into your home so you know that's a huge common misconception. You can pick them up in so many different places, and I'm going to get into that in another video. I just wanted to touch base on different common misconceptions. Um, another common misconception is that they're just like the cockroach, or, you know, just like any other insect that you can just, you know, kind of spray down, shoo away, uh, or, you know, basically self-treat which is also a load of hoo-ha all those bottles you know spray bottles that you're that you're finding in um you know in different hardware stores or different you know whatever stores where they sell oh you know bed bug treatment if you have bed bugs just spray them down with this please don't bother using it i read an article um you know uh, an article where you know they basically say that because people are doing that, they're causing the next generations of bed bugs to become, um, you know, immune to whatever chemicals those are. So this is also why all these extermination companies need to continuously change their chemicals. And when they do come do their treatment, NYC Pest Control, they do two types of treatments. The first time they do a treatment, it's a different, um, it's a different treatment than they do the second time. So you know, they do. They're basically trying to, I guess mess these uh these bed bugs up because the whole thing is is that they need to be exterminated um you know for earth friendly people you've got earth friendly uh solutions as well but no they cannot be saved these bed bugs need to be exterminated because they multiply ridiculously and they are parasites they're not your average cockroach you want to save a cockroach take a cockroach you know put them outside fine you want to save a rodent that's perfectly fine that's an animal um that's what type of animal or whatever it might be but when 
when it comes to the bed bugs, you want to exterminate them. Now, the thing is, what he was explaining um, uh, in the article was that if you do end up taking a spray bottle and spraying them down, great you did a wonderful job because you got rid of them from that specific area but what they're going to do is they're just going to migrate to another area whether it's another area of your home or whether it's to your neighbors what they do is they'll climb in through cracks in the wall through outlets through uh, um, you know the holes uh, where where your uh, uh, lighting fixtures are they can get into the smallest cracks and they will migrate to other areas um, you know they'll leave one area where you spray down but they'll go into another area so you know you definitely don't want to take that chance you do want to have it professionally done and I am totally saying go for NYC pest control if you guys are in uh, Staten Island Queens Brooklyn Manhattan uh, they will come out to you they'll do an inspection um, and I'm you know totally talking about them because they took this you know the large amount of time to actually come out to me and educate me which means they do want to put it out there uh, I don't know very many companies so far any companies that have contacted no one actually came to do a demonstration for me in order for me to be able to do videos so I give them a lot of props they obviously do care about their customers uh, and you can read I'll put um, I'll put a link to the blog article that I'm referring to uh, below so that you can actually take a look at that article because, you know, he talks about different experiences and also, you know, different things that you should know. Search AGC reviews on YouTube for more videos and make sure to search for my bed bug series because, again, like I said in my introductory video, please, please, please share these videos because, you know, these videos should go viral as soon as possible. Um, what you'll read in that blog post is very, very important. I'll actually touch base on that in the next video. Have a great day.